Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Says the Vet today. Answering the question for you, do our grazing animals, ruminants, sheep, goats and cattle need dental care like horses do? The answer is yes and no. So there is a difference between horses and ponies versus ruminants and it's a difference in jaw anatomy. Horses don't move their jaw sideways as much as ruminants do when they eat. So what happens is they grind their teeth from side to side, the teeth will continue to wear down. So all of these species have really long teeth that sit down in the side of the jawbone and continue to erupt slowly over time as they're also being worn down by food. Does that make sense? So it ends up going like this. These animals are called hypsodont, which means a really long crown of the tooth versus the root which stays down in the jaw, right? And the crown continues to emerge from the gum line slowly over a long period of time, as opposed to humans, which are brachydonts, where the tooth erupts and then it's there and that's it. Now, because the teeth and hypsodonts in our grazers are constantly wearing down, you will end up with specific patterns of wear on those teeth and that's why they need dentals and what we end up seeing is sharp edges on the outside of the top teeth and sharp edges on the inside of the bottom teeth and those sharp edges can trap food they can cause periodontal disease they cut the inside of the cheek or the tongue and cause ulceration and as those sharp edges get more pronounced they will eventually prevent the animal from grinding as far side to side as they should be which means they grind smaller, you know, a, a shorter distance side to side, making the, the sharp edges even worse, and eventually they can barely grind um, their food properly at all. The animal will end up losing weight, um, possibly in pain, swallowing unchewed food, which it can't digest properly and may even choke on. Um, they may be seen dropping their cud or with green staining around the mouth. And this is what we are talking about when we say routine dental care, is taking down those edges. Now with horses, the anatomy of the jaw means they already don't grind as far side to side as our other grazing species, so those edges become pronounced really quickly. Now I'm not an equine vet, it's a very specific field and I'm not an equine vet specifically, but my understanding is that in horses and ponies it's really recommended yearly, sometimes even more. Now in ruminants it takes a little longer for those sharp edges to form because their jaws move side to side in a much more exaggerated fashion. So the surfaces wear a little more evenly, if that makes sense. The other reason we don't talk about it as much in ruminants is because in the farming industry, they're often slaughtered at a relatively very young age compared to their actual potential lifespan. But I know many pet sheep in my area that are 15 plus, even approaching 20 years old, which is really giving horses a run for their money. So realistically, yes, you absolutely should have their dentition checked and addressed once they're over about five to six years old, unless you notice issues earlier, of course. Issues will develop much quicker and at an earlier age if their teeth are not perfectly aligned, which unfortunately is quite common. So we do see periodontal disease um, not uncommonly in, in sheep especially. So do you need the routine yearly dental care that a horse does? Probably not, unless they have malalignment issues with the anatomy of their jaw. But do we see dental issues that need addressing? Very commonly, yes. Lost or broken teeth, periodontal disease, um, a tooth loss, uh, excessive wear of the front teeth over age. You know, as they get older, of course, those front teeth are just going to wear down tooth root abscesses for sure. As they get older, eventually their teeth will wear down completely, at which point they will starve if they're not helped by being fed long, soft pasture and supplementary feed. Concentrates, softened pellets. So yes, absolutely, they will need a dental check if they are a pet and they're a little bit older, or if you see them dropping their food. Balls of cud sitting inside the cheek that's not shifting, green staining around the mouth, any swelling of the jaw, pain and reluctance to eat, or any weight loss. Okay guys, great question, thanks guys. I'll leave it there. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment to let me know you appreciated it. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.